The following presents a system of equations that we're going to have to solve. It states, Maria has a collection of dimes and quarters worth $2.75. She has a total of 17 coins in her collection. We're to use the given system to find the number of dimes that she has in her collection. So since we want, we're concerned with finding the number of dimes, our goal will be then to eliminate the amount of quarters. Now in order to use the method of elimination or addition, as you might have heard it being called, we need to have equal but opposite values for Q here. So something that would be equal but opposite of 25Q would be negative 25Q. Therefore, we would then multiply this top row by a negative 25 in order to eliminate the set of quarters that we have there. So distributing, we would then have negative 25D minus 25Q equals negative 425. And we would then add this to our row, our second row, just like so. Okay. Now in this case, we would eliminate the number of quarters. So we would have negative 15D, since negative 25 plus 10 is negative 15. All right, negative 15D equals negative 150. Okay, since that's the difference between negative 425 and 275. We would then proceed to solve for the number of dimes that are in Maria's collection. So we would divide both sides by negative 15 and we obtain our value D equals 10. So Maria has a total of 10 dimes in her collection.